everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcast channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! <laughs> Okay, now in this video we're going to sew all our pieces together. Usually what I like to do is use uh, some big safety pins or pin them down um, so that they don't move around. One of the things I had told you, when you, if you use a little light that reflects, make sure you don't do this where there's some lights on this side and this side. Usually you want the light to be coming from the both the same angle. So here, um, I the thing that I just have to say is be careful that you don't sew them both together. So the big eye, or the big camera, goes here in the center. And so if you use a safety pin, it will help you from, it helps to keep it from moving around too much. And that way you don't make it too tight. But I think I opened that one too much. So here, I just put several of them. And it just helps me to make sure that they don't, because sometimes they'll start moving over when you're working on it, because you're trying to hold it and sew it at the same time. So this way, and you don't have to put the safety pins, it's up to you. If you can hold it steady without doing that, that's fine. But I even do this when I put patches that are not the um, iron-on kind. So I just got all these safety pins, this big package at... Um, I think it was Joann's. So now you're just going to get your yarn with the same color black. I'm not using white. I'm not going to sew on the edge. I'm going to sew along the top. If you could see, and it's hard to see, let me see if I can show you on here. Like kind of on the edge around. So you just get your yarn and you're just going to go around. You can do a running stitch or whatever you like. I'm going to get it right there. And then just make sure you leave a tail that you could use to sew it. Don't pull it all the way out. You can use whatever stitch is comfortable for you. Sometimes I just go in and out. You just have to make sure you, that you're going through several stitches so you're not coming in and out of the same stitch. Just like this. So if you look at the bottom, you could see that I've gone through this stitch, this stitch, this stitch. If I go in and out of the same stitch, it's not going to hold. You have to go across several of them. And see how when you hold it and you're scrunching it, it really helps to have the pins in there so you don't lose your space. I'm sorry I couldn't put the whole video all in one video, but with the changes on YouTube, they really want you to do like shorter videos, um, something about the algorithm, so I'm just trying to put uh, as many videos, if it's a long video, I'm trying to do them all within like the same one or two days instead of waiting for the next week. That way if you guys already did like, I know some of you go out or you already have yarn, if you already have your yarn, you don't have to wait a whole week. So this is basically all you do. And just and you could you might want to lift it up see how you could see that it's already sewn on there I like to sew them on top not through the side because if you do it here you're gonna see that ugly black or whatever color if it's all the same color like if I was sewing this onto a black hat then it wouldn't matter but here it does just make sure you don't sew it to itself okay this is gonna be my last two stitches Gonna go back in. And I can cut this. If you want to hide in those sewing. I'm not gonna worry about sewing in these tails, it's on the back. So now my eye is in place. I can take these off. So 
so the first eye is there shape it there you don't want to do it super tight you want to make it so that it still stretches when you put it on your head and it's nice and sewn on there and now according to the picture this little eye goes more like here it's I'm saying eye but it's really like little cameras and then this one is like down here so I'm gonna put my pins and repeat the whole process if you want to watch again you can I'll but it's basically going to be the same thing. I think having the safety pins helps a lot. At least it helps me. This way I can make sure the eye's not going anywhere. There's one. This one's kind of, the safety pin's going to be kind of big for it, but. I don't know why the camera keeps shutting off by itself. I'm going to sew on the gray, and then these, I'm going to sew along this gray section. I could start wherever I want. Just make sure I leave a tail so that I could sew that or tie them together at the end. Okay, so now I'm going to tie this off. If you want to sew those in, you can, but this is the back. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to repeat the same thing here. This one's going to be real tight fit. I so here is the last one. And this I'm just going to sew right through the gray. I'm going to leave that tail there so that I can tie it when I finish my end. And this one, I'm just going to go through that slip stitch. Okay. So now going to tie it in the back and I know this is a short video but if I would have attached this to the second one well my husband got sick but I didn't have time but then see they're all on there move back now I can take off all the safety pins I can do it there And they're all on there and it's ready to be enjoyed if you make your own hats you could also put like a little label I know some people do that but that's it that's the whole hat I hope you enjoy this tutorial please be sure to subscribe hit that like button I also wanted to invite you to come on over and follow me on Facebook on my Facebook page and I have a blog allcraftschannel.com and that's where I do giveaways and offer patterns and different things. So I hope you'll join. It's free. I never share your uh, email or anything like that. So have a great day. And remember always that God loves you.